Hi guys. So I'm going to have a go at drawing this brook trout by Nick Leferrier as a demo for you guys, just so you can see uh, what it looks like and what it's like to draw. So I've started by drawing out my grid and I've measured uh, the size of the box and just drawn it to size. I made it about 15 and a half by 12, so it needed a little bit of tweaking, but I made, yeah, I made it, I, I rounded it up to uh, to eight by eight, and then tw and then each box at the side was six. Um, so yeah, that should work out okay. So I'm doing the slope of the fish's back. Now, I'm going to start by just drawing the outline until I'm happy with it. Might take me a few goes, which is fine. Got the fins at the back there. And the sweep as the fin is twisted. It's always a little bit tricky. Got that, that spin there. Now there's quite a lot of fins on the bottom part of this fish. Um, and it is. It might take you a few goes. It's all right. Just keep your pencil light so you can change it if you need to. And there's the other twist here. So I'm gonna try and get that coming. Starting at one side here, starting at the lower side of the fin and then meeting at the top. So it looks like it's twisting. Hopefully you can see this because it is quite, my pencil is quite dark. Okay. So the tummy of the fish sweeps quite low down at the bottom here. It does have a fin sort of peeking out here as well. It comes about as low as the tail. I'm not sure if I've got that right, but mm, might be a bit low there. This might be. I'm not going to make these too detailed just yet till I know that I've got them all in the right place. All I want is the outline. And I know that the gill, this big centre gill, is going to touch my center line and it's going to move far in to the fin that I've just drawn as well so see how that goes And what I like about Nick Leferrier's work is it's part animation, part realism. And you get 
with these lovely combinations of colour and shape which look really cool I think. So that's the mouth. I'm just going to come much higher up as well. And then there will be the tongue there too. And then the top of the mouth. down it's like a moustache coming down there okay well it doesn't seem too bad that meets the top um, of my left hand box so that's okay and then it should come right up and meet the arc of the back. Okay, I've got a huge fin there, but I'll pop that on in a sec. As this is the eye pe peeking out the other side. So I'm about to draw this really bulbous eye, which comes quite high up. It's not round, it's it kind of looks really 3D because of the blue and orange, which I quite like actually. It comes much, oh, much lower down. I don't know if that's right actually. We'll see. Much lower down. Did we draw the nose as that bit there? I don't know. And then it's the eye. Yeah. And then the top bit. The top orangey bit is going to come lower. This does look a bit high. I think it might be that I've got my back, the back arc. Also got like the iris, would you call it, here, coming round. Okay. I'm definitely now just working on the pattern and the finer details that are in the fish. And I will start to rub out the grid as well because we, we don't really need that now. As long as we can see everything and we've got everything in the right place, we should. Be all right. There's a green patterned bit at the top, orange and red. So we want to divide that up. Try not to go in too heavy with your pencil at this stage because you are going to be shading the pattern and you don't want the pattern uh, to just be interrupted by a very strong pencil line. So go in, go in light with that. I've also got some uh, plastic wallet just to lean on because I often end up with my uh, arm smudging my pencil, especially when I use a B pencil that, that's quite soft. Oh, 
it started to, to smudge a bit, so I am glad I'm protecting my work. Okay, so I'm going to start with the pattern on the back now. I counted those. And there is a part that's going to go from red to orange, and that's going to come. I think I'm going to make this tail bigger because I just like the thought of it coming sweeping right down. I suppose this is the bit where you can have a bit of artistic license to, to change things if you do want to. We are copying the artist's work. We are artists ourselves, so we're not.
then we're just going to add in some of the pattern work that comes over the top. quite integral to the, the fish so do take your time to get these in there You might prefer using a very light pencil, like just a HB, and sharpen it to get these in. I'm doing them quite dark so you can see them. But yeah, it is a little bit tricky, so I would really prefer to be doing it with a lighter pencil. Nice though. Nice to see them in there. And then there is some light patterning on the arch of the back. And hopefully while you, you're sketching, you are noticing some of these different colours that are in there. So you've got a, like a brown, a light brown across the back. And you've then got a white highlight coming down. And then you've got a darker brown and some green and that is all speckled with some orange dots And don't forget, you can rub out the grid. So, just seeing, still seeing a few more lines there. fin on the back. Don't forget these wibbly lines if they were there. Try and put them in. Just adds a bit of realism to, to your study. these patterns on this fin. Take your time with them ones. <laughs> Probably easier though when you come to shade this one to just shade it yellow and then go over for the brown patterning over the top rather than sketching them all in but I'll put them in anyway just to show you what they look like.
Nick Leferrier was into fly fishing, which is catching fish by using, uh, instead of using a float that goes in the water, it he, they move, the fishermen move them above the water so they're like flies and then the fish catch them that way. So he's, he's used to looking at fish and close up and how patterned they are, which is why he likes to, to put lots of pattern into the fish. Apart from the smudges where my hands have been, I think I'm happy with that. Okay. Do your best and enjoy.